You are watching a clip from the John Perry channel, Genetics and Evolution. Do you have any, are, are there any like just burning things that you think the world has to know about skeletons mm, let me think. that we haven't covered yet? I want everyone to know that like that skeleton, that our skeletons are absolutely amazing because they are living lattices. They are living structures. And mm -hmm. while we're not the first to invent skeletons, I mean, sponges have skeletons, crabs technically have skeletons, you know, exoskeletons. We're not the first to invent mineralizing something to support our bodies or to support our muscles. As vertebrates, we are not. But we are definitely the first to invent a living structure that adapts to what we do in real time in like our lives because yeah. snails have a skeleton and sponges have a skeleton but they can't remodel it once it's made it's dead uh, but ours listens to us and changes with our needs which i think is what makes our skeletons really unique and i think that's why you picked up on remodeling as like your main topic because it's such a it's such an interesting topic it, yeah. it is what makes us special yeah, I, th I think we have this false idea that a skeleton is just like a dead rock inside of us, right? Um, mm -hmm. Bone is, but it, it just, <laughs> I mean, you were saying that your your bones rebuild themselves until Every you're an like adult? Like seven, yeah, no, well, well, even after, you basically get a fresh new skeleton every seven to 10 years because just because of, you know, the calculation goes like, I think you remodel like, however many grams of bone each day and then they just scaled it up to time and to how much in your skeleton and so our skeletons are working really hard for us to make sure that you know you don't have the same bone that you're you were born with because it has all the micro cracks every step you've ever taken everything you've ever lifted creates strain in your skeleton and creates all these micro cracks and it wants to, you to have fresh new bones to work with every few years so certain areas of our body remodel faster than others, depending on the strains. And probably the best thing you can do for your skeleton is eat right, see some sun and uh, just take a walk every now and again. And yeah. it'll, it'll serve you well. <laughs> That's cool. Well, Yara, thank you for coming on. This was amazing. This, seriously, this was, this was better is than I thought it would be. Is it everything you wanted? It's yes. better than I thought it'd be. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, I, I, I guess my message for, um, for people on on bones would be to uh a lot of people tell kids not to look at you know the dead body on the, the dead cat on the side of the road and stuff like that if if the kid's interested let them look <laughs> yeah make make them poke it yeah let, let them poke <laughs> like, it yeah, yeah maybe, maybe use a it. stick if it's really rotten fine fine but, if it's a little squishy it makes sense but yeah i mean encourage <laughs> encourage curiosity into osteology and I mean, all natural things has definitely always been my message. I'm glad you agree. Yeah. Well, thank you. This has been great. Yeah, absolutely. No, it was, it was really fun. And I love talking with bones. And that is it, my friends. Yara Haridi. I do recommend that you follow her on Twitter. If you're on Twitter. I don't know if she has Facebook and all that other stuff too, but her Twitter is pretty good. She's always posting cool stuff on there. So check that out. Well, that's it for this clip, but don't worry, I post clips regularly, and every Thursday, I post completely fresh content. Make sure you're subscribed. Liking and commenting is also welcome.